Hey, buddy, watch this. Uh, we are going to open 40 packs. This is the wild bundle. You cannot buy this in the game. You have to go to Battle.net, like the website itself, and go to the shop tab to buy these directly. And then you have to load into Hearthstone after that, and they will appear in your account as they are here. But we have 10 packs from the Grand Tournament. Goblins versus Gnomes, uh, Whispers of the Old Gods, and Mean Streets of Gadgets and the Wild Format expansions. And that's a lot. And we're going to just reminisce. Now, of course, I don't need any of these cards. I have a full collection for both Wild and Standard. But we're looking for golden cards to have fun with. And we're looking for just dust, of course. But really, we're just looking for the experience because you don't get to open these sorts of packs often. You can actually buy old Wild packs on the website as well. But this is a special bundle. Very efficient pricing for uh, the number of packs you get. So... If you're ever a wild player who's looking to kind of shore up your collection a little bit, this is a, a great strategy to, to do that. going to open your Regis exclusive Dawn of the Dragons packs? Oh, man, I wish. I wish I got early packs, man. You know how popular that'd make me if I got to open packs early? Nope, just Goblins versus Nobs first, it seems. So uh, just looking for fun stuff. Ooh, Ogre War Mall. Totally forgot that card existed. We can afford to, though. You got to wonder if it's still decent. Uh, Snowshogger, this card powered a lot of mech mages back in the day, including me. I played a ton of this. Doomall Shaman forgot this card existed. And Fell Reaver, ooh, the OG Bitter Tide Hydra. This card was really good. And I think still gets played a little bit maybe in mechs and wild. I don't, I don't play a lot of wild right now, but I know I have one. I had like a mech hunter list that ran Fell Reaver in the Boomsday era of wild. Um, oh, another... Ooh, Golden Dark Bomb. That's pretty sick. Dark Bomb's a key card for Warlock. That's nice. Vitality Totem. What a cool card. Forgot this existed. Oh, a Golden Epic. It's a Sabotage, unfortunately. Not a terrible card, but uh, still, Golden is sick. That's awesome how that uh, glint moves down the blade. I like that a lot. I still have your vids playing on my TV in the background. I crashed at like 3 in the morning just watching the experiments. That's awesome, dude. Thanks. <laughs> It's good for me when they like autoplay too. It's just a lot of watch time adding up on YouTube. Whoa, That's good stuff. Uh, more snow chugger, My spider first tank. Hearthstone deck I ever made was My OG 3 4. GVG. Ah, nice theme approach, Hinto. I like it, man. Thank you for the $2 so far, man. Good morning to you. Good to see you. Uh, it's fun making like theme decks like that, even though they kind of suck, you know. Still a lot of fun. Glaive Zuka, Clockwork Gnome, all the mechs, man. The OG mechs. Crackle the RNG nightmare. Whoa, the RNG nightmare. Spoilers, it didn't work, but I had fun. <laughs> I don't think that needed much of a spoiler warning, man. I think we all knew. <laughs> I think we all figured your ogre dedicated deck didn't work particularly well. Grove Tender, that's a cool card. Drew to the Fang, I always tried to make this work, it never did. Flame Cannon was clutch. Clogmaster, so good. Heal bot, I kind of miss Heal bot a lot. That uh, easy neutral heal. Maybe a little too good sometimes, but felt really good. Brand Bronzebeard into anti heal bot was that 16 heal stabilization I desperately miss. Ooh, how did he buy these? You can buy them on Battle.net. You got to go onto the website. Uh, Puddle Stomper, go to base Murloc. Didn't see a lot of play. Iron Sensei, when it worked, was so strong, but it's really hard to make it work. There were some decks out there that were decent. I don't remember there ever being like a tier one or tier two deck. Another good pack, man. We've had a lot of. Um, a lot of epics. Ooh, Golden Screw Jank Clunker. That's pretty cool. It's actually a sick golden card. A lot of movement. The sparks flying out. Uh, Piloted Shredder, the centerpiece of all mid range decks in Goblins versus Gnomes. Junk Bot. This guy never worked well. He's on Mystic, man. This would be nice in this meta. I'd like this a lot right now against Hunter. Not only do you break their secrets, but you steal them. That's fun. No legendaries yet for Goblins versus Gnomes, uh -huh. but another good pack. Man. That's some really good packs so far, guys. Cobalt Guardian. Jeez. That's a cool card. Forgot this existed, kind of. Fane Death. Oh, uh, yeah. Death Rental Hunter Dream. <laughs> if only. Hey, Shade. How's it going? Never saw Screw Jank, Screw Junk Clanker. Or Screw Jank Clunker? That sounds weird for some reason. <laughs> I don't know which it is, to be honest with you. I don't know which of those is right. Hey, Shade, dude. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Stopping by, you say hello, and then you slam the Twitch Prime on us. Lifesteal. This didn't used to have lifesteal. It used to say, it's like, explain it. And they updated it, obviously. Giblin Stalker. This card actually saw play occasionally. You know, we see other stealth cards that don't have quite as good of a stat line. Didn't get played a ton, but at least a little bit. 
I always thought this line on his body was always a little bit too straight. Looked a little unnatural to me on the artwork. I remember that. It's like so obvious in the artwork too. Uh, hey, Maple Sir. Morning's good, man. We just got the stream started. I had to start a little late today, but we're opening some wild format packs. The Salty Dog. Man, call pet. I got this card. The artwork's kind of forgettable too, isn't it? We've gotten a lot of Glaive Zookas and Flame Cannon so far, and another Ogre Wormwall as well. Are we out of packs? We are out of Goblins versus Gnomes packs. They were pretty good to us, though. No legendaries, but just, um, could open these in order, man. Kind of sad that the space just randomly took the top one. Doesn't really matter. Grimy Gadgeteer. So a lot of people don't know this. I saw a Reddit thread. He's holding a gun, guys. That's not like a part of him or like on his shoulders or anything. He's holding a giant gun. You can see the handle of it right there, right? And the trigger right there. He's like holding it like, you know, kind of by the like stock and the, I don't know, barrel up there. So it looks a little weird, but I'm just explain that. Second rate bruiser. That's what I look like when I wear shirts. <laughs> That's what most of my clothes. That's how most of my clothes fit. <laughs> Shadow Ranger, that's a cool card. I always like friendly bartender. This guy was good. Uh, always just felt good to play. Like if if you stuck it, you're like yes. You're always pumped. I love the bank vault uh, pack opening too. It's really cool. Very thematic for the uh, Mean Streets. By the way, I hated like the theme of Mean Streets, like the fantasy kind of the you know gang style like. 20s, 30s gang style. Always hated that. Never, never, uh, never worked for me. I'd play more wild if it wasn't too wild. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's intimidating. A lot of craziness can go on, for sure. Uh, another grimy gadget here. Jenny Water Speaker. That card got played in Shaman a fair bit. Brand Bronzebeard again. Big time heals. Jade Rogue. Never saw a lot of play. Cabal Lackey was good, but sometimes didn't make the cut anyway. Hey, Fluffy, man. How's it going? How is it going, Fluffy? Oh my god, Grimy Gadgeteer, Shadow Rager everywhere. This guy's holding a scary gun too. I thought about making this one of my Murlocs for the um for the cheer motes, but I didn't. Uh Crystal Weaver card was kind of cool. Potion of Polymorph. Great artwork. I love this artwork so much. It's like I don't know if the sheep is coming out of the potion or if like the potion is squirting on the sheep. Either way, the sheep's reaction is just fantastic. I love it so much. Put on the Yogg-Saron card back. No, it's okay. Oh, just even saying the name of Yogg-Saron got us a legendary. All right. Oh, my God. Every pack is Grimy Gadgeteer. What is going on? We got two Grimy Gadgeteers in this pack. What is happening? Oh, this card had to get nerfed. It was too good, guys. It was too good. Aya Blackball, you think? Take your guesses, guys. What is this legendary going to be? I wouldn't mind a golden Aya. That'd be pretty sick. Golden patches would be fun too. Is this all for dust? It is. Yeah, I have all these cards. I have every card. So just for dust or goldens, like just, you know, getting some extra cool goldens. Really just for fun. Just for the experience of opening packs we haven't seen in a long time. All right, let's see who it is. Golden Don Honcho. Man, Bone Mare, eat your heart out. We got the worst version of you, Don Honcho. Man, <laughs> I mean, I'm excited to get a golden card, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if Don Honcho was the one I wanted. Jeez. Man, it's kind of cool how the bullets are flying out of the shells. At least, Idol, the chat will turn angry. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're right, man. I, would, I might have to disenchant that. I don't want no golden Jade Idol. Jade Idol has like some of the worst artwork in the game, too, I think. It's just so bland and boring. Ooh. Golden Grime Street. That's cool. Did we already get one of these? For some reason, I remember looking at this. I don't think it's golden. I love the way he's swinging his big mace, though. That's awesome. We have gotten a lot of golden cards, I feel like, guys. We've done very well. That golden legendary, by the way, is going to be really tempting not to disenchant, but I'm not going to. It's like, when are we ever going to play a golden Don Honcho? But it's okay. Another golden! Greater Healing Potion. That's a cool gold. I like how the potion's moving around in the bottle. That looks awesome. Also, it's just so gold. Like, the artwork matches the frame beautifully. That's really cool. Potion of Madness. I hate this card so much. This card is so good. Potion of Madness was so impossible to play around all the time. Do you have a Golden Yogg? Uh, I don't think I have a Golden Yogg, actually. Maybe we'll open one. That would be cool. Hall in the Finishers. I wish they'd put two ins in there to make it Finishers, but they didn't. Uh, I always like Grime Street Protector. I thought this card was a cool... I hated the artwork. You know, he looks stupid. He's like a lawyer, um, which kind of makes sense. Like a lawyer protects, you know, his allies. 
I, the, thematically, I get it, but I just fantasy wise, the artwork is so boring. Uh, Jade Lightning OP, of course. Red Mana Worm. It's uh, flavor text no longer makes sense. It used to say it's like triple Mana Worm or something like that, or double Mana Worm. 500 bits says you never ever play that card. You're probably right. I think that's a safe bet. <laughs> I think you're absolutely safe there. Devolve. Ooh, I missed this. Another Grime Street Enforcer. Man, the Grime Street Smuggler as well. Blaster Crystal Potion was a cool card. And wind up Burglebot. Who remembers that card? Not me. <laughs> Barely. Um, so who said a Golden Jade Idol? I just opened a Golden Jade Idol. They jinxed you, man. I'm sorry, Blaine Widow. It's no fun, dude. Uh, okay. Cabal Crystal Runner. I always like this card. I gave this card when, when uh, Mean Streets came out. I said this would be one of the best cards of the expansion. I remember I put out like a list, top 10 cards or whatever. And it wasn't for a long time. It took forever before it finally started getting played in like Secret Tempo Mage. And I was like, yes, I did it. I called it. It just took a long time. Mark the Lotus, man. We need this again for Druid to succeed as a tempo deck. So now we're moving on to the Grand Tournament. Forgettable cards everywhere. <laughs> so many forgettable cards. Living Greets is a good one, though. Nice champion school, but I mean, this would be cool in the Void Lord era, I guess, but just so specific. Uh, Effigy was a neat little card. Gadgets and Jouster. I couldn't have told you what this card's effect was for a million dollars. Dormonger. Forgettable vanilla stats. Grand tournament was, yeah, it was pretty boring. It was a bit resident sleeper indeed. Um, Saboteur, that's a cool card. I really like that. It's a good stat line, really powerful uh, like tech answer. Just didn't get used a lot, but it's just neat that it existed, right? I always like Spellslinger, Arcane Blast, very powerful card, which I didn't think it would be, but it was good. It was really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blues. Most of our packs have had, you know, multiple blues here. It's pretty cool. Um, anything remarkable here? Savage Combatant was cool with the gonk package, I guess. Cup Purse was neat, but it didn't work that well. You're just better off with the Death Rattle one instead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> man, boring pack, man. These cards are kind of just like uninspiring, aren't they? Argent Horse Rider was really good, played in a ton of decks. Um Ram Wrangler, bad RNG. Silverhand Regent was occasionally okay. This was just bad stat line. Uh, this guy was obviously a bad stat line. But these cards just kind of don't have a lot of like flavor to them, I feel like. They're just sort of... I don't know. The artwork is more kind of bland fantasy. The mechanics are not particularly exciting. You can really tell a difference in these cards and, and some of the later ones. Even between like this and Mean Streets. Like These are less fun. Bash, I love this card. I mean, I love Warrior. That's cool. This card was just awkward. Never that good. Um, like, bad Sun for your Protector, really. Holy Champion was cool, but didn't ever get that much play. It's hard to use. What was Inspire again? Inspire is whenever you use your hero power, that thing happens. Yeah. Refreshment Vendor was a very well-played card. This guy was everywhere. That heal really helped. Decent body for its stats, or uh, different, decent stats for its cost. Uh, Flash heal... And that five damage ping never worked in a damage deck that well that I remember. I think it got a lot of play. Uh, okay. Bolster. King's Defender, guys. Now strictly better than Fiery War Axe. Kind of sad, I think. It's so weird. So weird that it's better. Uh, Tuscar Totem. This used to be OP before it said Basic Totem. That guy was everywhere. Used to just summon a random totem. So you could get Flame Tongues and uh, Totem Golems and all kind of scary things out of it. Uh, Frigid Snowbold. Seems like actually an intriguing card. I love the artwork on it, too. Murloc Knight. This was such a cool card, man. I loved Murloc Knight. Could snowball out of control if you got, like, War Leaders on it. You got two of them on board. Like, this was one of the few Inspire cards I really liked playing and I thought had potential. It's all a little bit of play, not a ton. It was stupidly overpowered in Arena, as I remember it. Ooh! Ooh! Real nice pack! Nice pack! The Frost Giant. I, the golden on this is so cool. It stomps the guy. I wish we had it in gold. I'd love to see it. Um, what do you guys think? Who's it going to be? Fiola Lightbane. Oh, man. That would be boring. <laughs> um, Red Light Knight's one of those cards I love and hate at the same time. I, I agree with you. I think it's kind of bad for the game, but it's so much fun. What do you think the next hero card will be? I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Was the Grand Tournament the great time of Secret Paladin? It was a lot of Secret Paladin. Yeah, everywhere. 
Acid Maw, the upgrade hero power one. Well, let's just see. Chat! Chat! <laughs> Who said it? Moody! Moody, you got it, man! Wow, Moody! <laughs> You called it, dude. Super early. Way to go, Moody. Man, how did you do that? <laughs> Thelron says someone gift that man a sub. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Good call. I don't care if it's a bad bad card or not. That doesn't matter. I mean, she's fine. They're okay. Three mana, three fours were, were good back then in some ways. Just always. Um, Spawn of Shadows. It's cool card. Murloc Knight again. Uh, an anonymous gifter gave Moody a tier one sub. <laughs> Moody, grats, dude. Thank you, anonymous gifter. That's so funny. That's perfect. Whispers of the Old Gods. Many people's favorite expansion, I think, to this day. To this day, a lot of people's favorites. Forbidden Flame, cool. I love Bloodhoof Brave. This was a sick card. And this this would be amazing in Taunt Warrior today if it wasn't an even cost card. Um, Power War Tentacles, awesome artwork. Like, look how much flavor this has already than Grand Tournament. Like, this is so much cooler than Grand Tournament. Whoa! I feel like every ledger I've got, I've been hovering on right when it opens. So, guys, guess again. Three ledgers out of 40 packs, by the way. Pretty darn good. Ragnaros Lightlord, Nazoth. Oh, man. Golden Yogg or Golden Nazoth would be amazing, dude. Any sort of golden uh, old god would be great. I mean... It's very, very unlikely, but best expansion ever. Yeah, see, a lot of people love it, man. A lot of people love it. Yogg, Rag, Sogoth, Hogger, Cthulhu. All right, let's see. Yasharaj. Listen to that beautiful sound. All right, here we go. Fandral Staghelm. Yeah. Very cool card. I mean, very good card. Like Fandral as a character, too, is pretty awesome. Sick looking card, but. Uh, just standard, so not that exciting. That's just dust to us. Dust to us. All the hype is gone. We got the Don Honcho instead, guys. Ugh. Don Honcho? What? Jindetta! Drop in the tier one sub five months in a row. Welcome back, Jindetta. One month away from that beautiful epic badge. There it is. That's your color soon. That's it right there. That beautiful epic. It's coming. It's on the way. One month away. Yeah, low T plus Vangel's pretty cool. Flame Wreath Faceless. The uh, four mana seven seven man of memes, uh, the man of memes. Zeitblood Cthulhu was a cool card. One of the few pandas we've got in the game too. There's not that many panda cards. Um, Psychotron was decent. Uh, Blade of Cthulhu. I always wanted this card to work, and it was cool to play and try. Like, it's kind of neat, right? But just never got there. Never strong enough. At the end of the day. Alrighty. Evolved Kobold. Pretty crazy card. Uh, used in Freeze Mages a lot back then. Played it quite a bit. I thought it was terrible, but it got played a fair bit. Ooh, another good pack. Man, I think that's really good packs, guys. Ooh, Golden Corrupted Seer. I don't hate that. That's kind of fun. This card was an arena staple. Everyone arena. Not played much outside of arena, really, but... Just that that um, sort of Primordial Drake AoE in Arena was great. Faceless Shambler got some play. Ravaging Ghoul was an awesome card. Love this card. So good to work. Dark Shark Councilman was good too. Uh, great zoo card, as you might imagine. That big old health of that buffable attack line. That's really a zoo dream, isn't it? More double blues. More evolved kobolds. Carry on grub. Carry on my wayward grub. Rowling Blade and Gold's pretty sick. I like that a lot. This was a, a good uh, Paladin card. Imagine this in. Um, in Odd Paladin right now with Argent Squires and Righteous Protectors, this would be really good. Because it's good anyway, just still 3-man 3-2. I think this would be better than Mauls in a lot of cases. Not always, though. Maul can be pretty good, depending on the high roll. Librarian. Cool discard card we don't really get to play with anymore, sadly. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Bladed Cultist. Blood to Icker, or really Iker as it should be pronounced, but I had to cave because everybody else said it Iker, and I sounded like an idiot if I said Iker. So, cool card though, I love this card in Warrior. Artwork's like kind of, I don't know, it's, I like, I like it in some ways, like the framing of it and stuff, but for some reason it still just doesn't seem to have like enough energy or oomph to it. Something about it, I don't know. Let's see, two packs to go guys, this is our last chance for a good pack. It's not a bad one, it's not a bad one. I always like Darkshire Alchemist, so this is a cool card. Like, a little bit different than Anti-Kill Bot, but 
unique spin on it. Twilight Summoner was a fun card. Not especially good. It might be really good in Death Rattle Hunters. That's sort of another egg style card. But I think uh, you'd still run the 0-3 instead. And final pack, guys. 40 wild packs down. One to go. Let's see if there's a double legendary inside for us waiting. It's never good, though. The final pack always sucks. Well, three three blues, honestly. It's a pretty good pack. Uh, Surge Darkshire, fun. Master of Evolution. I always wanted this card to be better than it was, but not. And Ravage Ghoul. Great, great, awesome card. Cool artwork. Great effect. Perfect for Warrior. So let's see here. What do we get for... We won't, certainly won't have any new cards. Um, I don't know. I don't. There's no real reason to go through this, I guess. We kind of know what we got. Um, we have everything, so no, no advantage. Just, let's just disenchant. Whoa, that's a lot of dust. Jeez. Three legendaries, 12 epics, 56 rares, 169 commons, and uh, one golden rare. So we actually should be able to tell how many golden cards I got that are new, right? Because we opened 40 packs with five, five cards each. That's 200 packs. So we have 15 plus 56 is what? Uh, 71 plus uh, 69 would be 80, 140, 240. Did I do some math wrong somewhere? 40 times 5 is... Why do I have so many extra cards? Did I do some math somewhere wrong? 40, 40 packs, right? Five cards each. That's... Isn't that 200? Why do we have way more than 200 cards? I must have had some cards left over from something Welcome. else. Boys, make some Am I losing my mind, guys? Why Mystery are there so many more than 200? It is pack openings, not Just 250? How is 40 times 5 250? Is that right? No, it's 200. Like I said, you can buy the bundle for EU. Yes, you can. And Fiesta Man, dude, thank you. Yes, I know. The uh, the stream title for anyone watching later is Hearthstone, parentheses, not clickbait. <laughs> uh, yeah, pack openings are definitely not a part of Hearthstone. I must have had some extra cards laying around because clearly... Oh, I think we opened 10 packs yesterday. I think that's what it was. I think we have an extra 50 laying around, potentially. Um... I think we have an extra 50 packs laying around. So 169 plus 56. I just pulled out the calculator because I'm too lazy to count again. 12 plus 3 plus 1. That's nine extra cards that I between yesterday and today that I got in golden, which is pretty good. I'll take that. Nine is a nice little bonus. 